Mother Island emerged. Each time I saw Moana, it just always seems so weird to me that Tefiti, the very pure goddess who created the sprawling life across the world, would be able to change her outlook on that life and become the demon Tekka over a tiny rock heart. I know it's powerful and important, but why would one big-headed thief like Maui warrant a darkness that would continue to spread? Until every one of us is devoured by the bloodthirsty jaws of inescapable death! I just had to know, why did Tefiti become Tekka? Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and this Moana-themed question is what I'm going to attempt to answer today. If you'd like to learn more about Tefiti after the video, I've provided all the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. And to continue discussing Disney with me, make sure to subscribe and to click that notification button. First, I'd just like to say that I don't think Tefiti has to be altered into Teka when the heart is removed. What I mean is I don't think removing the heart of Tefiti automatically leads to her losing all of her humanity and love, which I think is evident from Teka being able to possess the ability to be reasoned with at the end of the film. If removing the heart always created the demon, I would assume Teka was pure evil, but instead some of Tefiti's innate goodness lived on in Teka even without the heart. The event of having the heart stolen by Maui I think is more important than just the heart being taken away. I think Tefiti's descent to be Teka was much more of an internal struggle than the power of a magic stone, especially since Tefiti and Teka aren't that different. I don't think Tefiti's metamorphosis into Teka really altered her. I think they are fundamentally the same. Both Tefiti and Teka are goddesses of the earth, just in slightly different ways. Tefiti is just a more obvious representation since she is manifested with greens and plants to symbolize the nature of our earth. Her heart held the greatest power ever known. It could create life itself! Tefiti brought all of life to the planet, but Teka has the ability to create as well. As a creature of lava and magma in the ocean, Teka can form lands to build upon the earth, similarly to the Polynesian deity Pele, the goddess of fire and volcanoes, and the creator of the Hawaiian Islands. Problem is that Teka does not act as a creator, but instead inherits some of the power, passion, and jealousy of Pele, and the Maui-destroying goddess of night and death in Polynesian mythology named Hinenui Te Po. Teka was not created just by removing the heart, since some of Tefiti's soul still lived in the lava demon, and Tefiti did not become an extremely foreign entity. No, no, Teka was still a goddess of the earth, just in a different way, and could have still been a positive creating force, but that's not actually why she changed form. She did so because she no longer wanted to create for the world. Tefiti became Teka when she rejected her purpose. When he stole from the Mother Island, darkness fell. Teka awoke. Monsters lurked and boats stopped coming back. Without her heart, Tefiti began to crumble, giving birth to a terrible darkness. Tefiti transformed into an alternate goddess of the earth, but instead of being a positive force, she turns her back on that duty due to her inner turmoil from losing her heart, and in that turmoil, she loses her identity. Maui stripping the heart of Tefiti enraged the goddess like nothing else, which I think occurred because she felt betrayed by her own creation. The very beings she fabricated were the ones taking away her most powerful and beloved item. I think she felt her heart was the key to her love, goodness, and compassion. And with it removed, she succumbed to her own darkness and longed to destroy the beings who wronged her. Suddenly, due to the pain she felt and the longing for revenge, Tefiti was willing to do anything to get the heart back and became like the very beings who craved her heart in the beginning. Teka and the demons of the deep still hunt for the heart, hiding in a darkness that will continue to spread, chasing away our fish, draining the life from island after island. The mother island was now destroying the entire world with her darkness and facilitating the revival of demons across the world, which I personally think is really cruel to do because of the actions of one demigod. Leave a shocked face below if you agree. But I think Tefiti just couldn't stand to feel betrayed 
and powerless. I think she felt she had the right to go after what was hers and wouldn't let herself be hurt any longer. Time for compassion was over in her mind, which led to her longing for destruction, betraying her identity and descending into Teka, a name which means the burning one in Maori since, <laughs> you know, she was covered in lava. And by the way, Ka is also a possessive particle in most Polynesian languages, which makes sense since she craved that heart with every fiber of her being. Teka is created because Tefiti rejects who she is when her heart is stolen. Removing the heart of Tefiti did not guarantee the creation of Teka due to some magic bound in the stone. No, no, Tefiti becoming Teka was a choice since Teka still has good within her and they are actually both goddesses of the earth with powers allowing them to build upon creation. When the heart was stolen by Maui, Tefiti is blinded by anger and rage, turns away from her role as a goddess of creation and instead smites the world in an act of vengeance. Because of this anger and obsession for the heart, she forgets her initial purpose, forgets who she is, and becomes the demon, Tika. If you enjoyed discussing Tefiti and Tika, then click that like button. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more magical Moana videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. To become a patron yourself, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash videos. Do you think Tika is created from Tefiti rejecting her purpose? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.